Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making chocolate chip cookies. Um, the oven is already preheated um, to 350 Fahrenheit. So that's the first thing that you wanna do. Um, make sure that you check out the description box below before you start um, preparing for these chocolate chip cookies because I am doubling the recipe. So please pay attention to the description box. So we have everything laid out and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, our first ingredient is our unsalted softened butter. So we have that already in here. Now we're going to add our granulated sugar. We're gonna put that in. Then we're going to add our packed um, brown sugar. This is all packed. So we're gonna put all of this in here. And then we're going to blend it together. Okay. Just gonna mix this up. First of all, we gotta bring this up high. And then we're gonna put it on a slow speed starting out. And move it up just a little bit. Okay, what we want to do is scrape down the edges because you want to make sure that everything is mixed in together. Sometimes the ingredients end up at the bottom. So now we're going to add, we have four eggs, so we're going to add them one at a time and then we're going to mix. adding our vanilla extract. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. Now we are going to add our baking soda and our salt to the all-purpose flour. And we're just going to whisk this up. so that everything would be um, blended evenly. Now we are going to add our flour mixture, but we're gonna do it um, in steps. We're not gonna do it all at once. We're gonna do about a third each time, and then we're gonna mix, and then we're gonna scrape the edges. This is the last portion of the flour mixture. And we're getting close, everyone, we're getting close. We add all of this and then just keep watching because you're gonna see what's next. Here comes the fun part. We've got to have those chocolates. So we're going to add the chocolates in. Get them all in there. Okay. And then we're gonna do one last mix. Okay, I have disconnected the bowl from the mixer. Now we're gonna try and get all of our good stuff out of the center. And I'm just gonna push it through with the spatula and get all of that ingredient out of there. Just like that. Cause we need all of this, much as we can get out. Okay. And then our next step will be to um, shape these into little balls or just put it on the cookie sheet. And then we're going to bake them. We are going to go ahead and um, put these on the cookie sheet 
you want to spread them about an, a half an inch apart and you want to cook them about eight to ten minutes and long as they're slightly brown because if you make them bigger or smaller you may want to have to cook them longer so as long as they're slightly brown then that should be good enough um, for the cooking time so I'm gonna kind of do these kind of medium size not too big not too small okay The cookies are all spread out, I guess about a half inch apart. We're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven. I'm gonna set my timer for eight minutes and then I'm gonna check it to see what it looks like. They look so scrumptious. These are perfect because when they sit, they're gonna harden up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. They're brown around the edges and it's time to come out. I'm gonna take one of these up just so you can see exactly what you want your cookies to look like the edges are just brown just perfectly the bottom is not too dark i think i cooked these about seven minutes but everybody's oven is different so i hope that you enjoyed this video these look so so good um please like please comment and subscribe to my channel comment share if anything you want to see different anything that i could have changed please put that in the comment section also remember before you make this recipe, check the description box so that you can get all of the measurements. And my motto is, put some love in your food, take your time, and everything will turn out just right. Bye for now.